message for all Autobots scattered throughout the galaxies. Though Cybertron has fallen, we still stand. Follow these coordinates to join us. Priority Prime. Optimus Prime. Rescue Force Sigma-17 reporting for duty. I was not aware rescue teams were still active. Wherever there is an emergency, there are rescue bots, sir. Wait, why wouldn't we be active? How long were we in stasis? We better check in with Cybertron HQ. That will not be necessary or possible. Cybertron is no longer our home. This planet is Rock PD. Please pull over. Figured you'd want to say goodbye to the old rust bucket. It's her last day on the job. I still don't understand why the city's making you get a new car, Dad. This one works fine. Progress, kiddo. Town wouldn't be a high-tech testing round if we stayed bad. Give it up, Dad. If Cody had his way, we'd all be pedaling everywhere. Of course, you'd still be on training wheels, Cade. <laughs> yeah, and the helmet might mess up your hair. Y quit it, Graham. Don't forget to be at the dedication this afternoon. Think I could test drive the Cody? We're getting rescue vehicles, not go-karts. Sorry, pal. For authorized emergency responders only. So basically, everyone in the family but me. I have to drop these troublemakers off and catch a chopper to the mainland. You get your bottom to school. And Cody, give it time. You'll find your place. Heat wave, chase, blades, Boulder. After careful consideration, I have chosen your new mission. Nice. We are happy to join the battle, sir. So when do we roll out? You do not. As perhaps the last rescue bots in existence, you are uniquely suited to help the people of this planet as well as learn from them. You mean we'll interact with humans? You will be ambassadors to the people of this planet. The first Autobots to live with a human family, study their customs, obey their rules, and work together to keep this planet safe. During this mission, you four must appear to the humans as machines, robots in disguise. What? While the people of Earth are comfortable with advanced technology, the idea that alien beings are living among them will undoubtedly cause panic. So we can help the humans as long as we hide our true selves. You are right to question what is best for your team, Heatwave. That is why I am asking you to lead this mission. To maintain your cover, you will each adopt a vehicle mode based on Earth technology. Whoa, look at those lines. This thing's a powerhouse. Boulder, do you wish to scan first? Huh, primitive, but 
but apparently they use this one for what I did back home. Is this what Earth authorities use for rule enforcement? It seems your choice has been made for you, Blades. Wait. This thing flies? He doesn't like heights. This is Chief Charlie Burns. He knows our secret and will help you keep yours. Rescue bots, good luck. It is an honor and a privilege. Over here. Cody, come here! Hey, Doc. Frankie, isn't this exciting? The text like nothing I've ever seen. <clears throat> uh, thank you for coming, folks. I'm not talking about the rescue stuff. I'm talking about this. The new exhibit at the museum. Cyber wire, saurian structures, and fuels with Cretaceous DNA. Our town has a long history of being on the cutting edge of new technology. Now, thanks to our friends in Washington, I give you the latest in emergency response, the rescue bots. Robots, transform! <laughs> These robotic rescue vehicles will streamline our resources. Now one human teamed with one robot can do the work of an entire police force, fire department, Emergency Response Unit, and Engineering Corps. Each robot is programmed to respond only to the commands of its handler. So you can sleep at night knowing that Griffin Rock is protected by the very best that technology and humanity have to offer. on its own. Yo, kid, can you move? I want a photo of the Burns family of heroes. <sighs> this is the chief. Go ahead. Fire at the Natural History Museum. I didn't tell to do that. It's new technology, son. Bound to be some bugs. Oh, come on, faster. We're being outrun by a bulldozer. I do not understand. Not so slow. Fly low. Understood. Ugh. Transform and clear the Museum of Civilians. Please evacuate in an orderly fashion. These humans did not respond. <laughs> well, I don't think we need to worry too much about them, partner. We need to move the planners to create a fire block. But I... That will destroy the harmonious nature of the plaza's design. What? <laughs> nice of you to show up, Danny. Would have been here sooner if my ride wasn't stuck in neutral. <sighs> Next time I'm walking. <sighs> Looks like a short start of the fire, but this should hold for a while. The cyber wire's too much for these old circuits. Hmm. 
Well, it's just a good thing nobody got hurt. I didn't tell it to do that. I wouldn't complain. Your robot was still in rescue mode. You gave him the directive to save lives, so he did. You're welcome, Graham. Ugh. some space. Chief said there's a bunker below street level. Relic of something they call the Cold War. Apparently we're getting some space too. Wait for me! I still don't get it. How did Cade's robot know to... It passed the carrots, huh? I noticed a glitch or two with my copter, but at least I had it under control. A glitch is one thing, but I saw... Cade, Danny, Graham, you guys did great work today. Can I be excused? Optimists are no optimists. I don't know how long I can put up with this. Ordered around. <laughs> Others taking the credit. <laughs> Having to pretend we're tin cans. Well, did you see the way my partner pilots me? My controls are still sore. It's always higher, higher, faster, faster. Still, it was nice being a part of an emergency response again. I find our chief quite competent. There is much he can teach us about Earth's law enforcement procedures. The humans do have strange ways. But that's what makes them so interesting. I'm leaving. You can't leave. You're our leader. Then we'll all go. Those humans will never understand us. We'll never belong here. I know what you mean. Don't bother. You're not fooling anybody. Trust me. Living in Griffin Rock? I know robots. And you guys? Worst robots I've ever seen. We've failed at our mission. Our cover is blown. If this human knows, he'll tell the others. Are you kidding? And waste the chance to know something they don't? Something this huge? I'm the best thing that could have happened to your mission, because I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about Earth. Can you teach me how to make my humans stop yelling? Danny, I don't think anyone can do that. I'm Cody, by the way. I'm Blades. Boulder. Classified. That's Chase. And I'm Heatwave. So, Cody, now that you know what we are, name one good reason why we shouldn't leave this planet right now. There's tunnels like this one all over the island. And they all end in the bunker. Great for sneaking out of the firehouse. Whoa. It's like a million optics set in carbon. So beautiful. I guess it kind of is. So why would you ever want to leave? This is what everyone will expect you to act like. See? Lock your legs, stick out your arms. You try. I understand what you're doing. What I don't understand is how talking like this is gonna make my ride along respect me. The trick with Cade is to make him think he's in charge. Trust me, I've been doing it for years. Is that part of the film? I know I'm new here, but aren't dinosaurs extinct? This one's about to be. Heatwave, wait! Look. If anyone sees you taking down that dino on your own, there goes your cover and your mission. 
it's attracted to the light. Chase, hit your lights! That got his attention. Now what? We need to lure him somewhere with no people around. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! the chief in. Rescue headquarters, go ahead. Dead, uh, okay, first, don't worry, I'm with the rescue bots. What? Who gave you permission to? They did, I mean, uh, Dad, I don't know how to tell you this, but the rescue bots aren't robots. They're from another planet, they're aliens. How long have you known? Wait, you know? Cody, where are you? Chief Burns, if I may. We are headed westbound on Lake Street with a dinosaur in pursuit. A dinosaur, again? Cody, you aren't driving, are you? No. Why did we take the old squad car? Huh? <laughs> That's why. I'll explain later. Jacked my ride? Listen, the T-Rex likes lights. I think you should... Less talk, more action. <gasps> Whoa, this machine almost drives itself. Stay here, son. Cody, get off this channel. It's for emergency responders only. Pipe down, Kate. Cody spotted the dinosaur first. For now, he's on the team. Fine by me. Got any ideas, Cody? Not exactly, but I know someone who will. Uh, hello? Uh, Cody? The dinosaur exhibit. Fine. Now you're interested. Almost there. Just a little more to the right. Preparing to lift the payload. Good to go, Danny. You really think this will hold a Tyrannosaur? We'll find out. supposed to get that thing over here. Thought you'd never ask. He was right. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> uh, 
Think anyone will notice? Wait, I want to get a picture of my heroes. All my heroes. Oh, come on, Dad. Just because Cody answered one rescue call doesn't mean he's part of the team. Yes, it does. Oh! Or we're not. <gasps> oh! Cody is our liaison on this mission. He's the reason we're even giving this place a chance. Are we clear? <gasps> Dad, did that thing just talk back to me? Something's definitely wrong with the robots. We can't use technology prone to malfunction. They're not malfunctioning. They're aliens. What? what? 